How are you doing? Good, man. Very good. I am blessed. It is a different time. We're all stuck uh, on these Zoom meetings and sitting at home. Yeah. Uh, how was the last <laughs> four or five months been with you? It's been awesome. You know, uh, it's surreal even catching up with you uh, through just uh, like a recorder like this. You have fans across the entire world. You know, when you talk about the WWE and uh, I've come to WrestleMania, you know, I've seen the madness that is there. Uh, how does it feel to know that, you know, you have a name and place everywhere in the world? It's not like a soccer player or a cricketer or an NBA star. You know, you guys are known every single place in the world. Uh, does that sometimes get overwhelming for you? It's amazing. I, like I said, I am blessed. And for myself and my brother, we grew up in a real small town farming tobacco called Cameron, North Carolina. And, and we still live there to this day, born and raised. And we'll, we'll end our lives there. Uh, but yeah, it's just amazing to be known throughout this beautiful planet called Earth. And, and to know that we have so many wrestling fans that have supported us over the years through the good and the bad and the ups and downs. And it's just amazing. I am super blessed. You know, and you keep coming back to the WWE. I love that. You know, you go to your Wikipedia profile as well. It's like many stints with the WWE. And I love that. What is it about the WWE universe that keeps bringing Jeff Hardy back? It's where it started, man. You know, it's uh, my first dream was to be a professional uh, baseball player. Then my second dream was to be a professional motocrosser, you know, supercrosser, uh, dirt bikes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But then uh, I had started wrestling like during all that. And I just kind of, I think I was born to do it. And, you know, I, I was, uh, and my heart is, my, my passion for it is still just as strong as it was when we first started. And it started in the yeah. WWE. I feel like it needs to end in the WWE. And, and so that's why I'm back. Well, it's not going to end anyway. Congratulations, Intercontinental Champion. Uh, yeah. Every time you get the gold around your waist, it must feel like, you know, everything that you work up for, you know, the, the fans out there, uh, the superstars in the WWE, uh, it just almost like, does it, you know, because you've got it so many times, you know, and it's been so many years since you won a championship also. How does it feel every time you get it? Is it like the same feeling every time or is it like, ah, one more, there we go. It's a different uh, sensation uh, for sure. I think it, it has a lot to do with like what's going on in your, uh, in your regular life and, and the comparison is pretty amazing. Like, for example, like when I got home uh, or after the match, I, I was like, they said, how many times have you won the other? I said, I think like three is now you, this is your fifth time. <laughs> And I was like, wow, this is crazy. Yeah. And so then I, like last week, for example, I got home and I always get home and watch my match back and study my craft, you know. And then I just, yeah. I saw a Jeff Hardy action figure all painted up that my daughter had in her hand. And then I was watching myself on TV as the Intercontinental Champion all painted up pretty in pink yeah. and blue. And, and I was like, this is just, uh, I'm still living the dream I always wanted. And it's just, it's so amazing. The Jeff Hardy household is also living the dream. When you say your daughter had like the action figure, does she know how big a superstar her father is? I mean, obviously now for sure, but when did she like first realize it? You know, when she started going out to school and stuff like that, or when? When did she know that it's Jeff Hardy, my dad? Yeah, my nine-year-old, uh, she, she's more aware of it now and she's like really interested in it. So, and, and gosh, before the, the uh, women's tag team titles like yeah. were a thing, I was like, man, wouldn't it be cool if like, the Hardy girls were the tag team champions one day. And then uh, yeah. the next thing I know, they're having this pay-per-view called Evolution. It's an all-women's pay-per-view. And I'm like, wow, this yeah. is just too cool how things are kind of coming together. And it is an evolution. Uh, so, yeah, it's cool. She's showing interest. Yeah. And I've always said, if I ever train anybody, I'm not that much of a trainer or a coach in yeah. wrestling. I'm more of just a creative, artsy type of guy. But if anybody ever wants to uh, – if they ever want to train, I, I'm definitely all for that. They're probably the only two humans on planet Earth I would be willing to train. Would you be a very strict trainer and a very different father? Or do you think you'd be able to be like, do it this way and this is what you need to do? Or would you let them do their own style? I would totally let them do their own style and just, I would try to modify when I feel need be. A number of times, you know, the top or just otherwise just being this daredevil all the time. Uh, it's been so many years. Have you ever felt, my God, I, I think I pushed the envelope a little too much sometimes? Uh, not, not. Not really. Uh, the, the biggest thing was probably uh, there was a lot of fear in me when uh, I did the, the highest swan time I've ever done, like Randy Orton back in 08, 09 or whatever. I was like, wow, should I, this, is, this is crazy. Yeah. I, this is scary. Uh, but then it's like I've always said fear is part of the fun. So when you believe in yourself that you can do something, uh, 
and follow through with it and then you survive it. I mean, there's, there's nothing like that. And that, that comes totally from my motocross background and me building my own motocross jumps over the years and then going out there and trying to conquer them. It's the same thing as having to me as having a TLC match and you come up with this crazy idea of, of how to like pull this hot spot off. And then you, you bring it into life, especially at a show like WrestleMania and you pull that off. And then the reaction of the WWE universe, that adrenaline rush, I mean, it's like no other. And so, uh, but yeah, I, I hope there's a more, there's more envelopes for me to push before it's all said and done. Yeah. So, you know, you don't even need to be the main event at WrestleMania, but you yourself are always like a main event at WrestleMania. You know, it's like there's another Jeff Hardy sort of WrestleMania happening there with the fans and all that. The kind of pressure must be sometimes quite tremendous, you know, even uh, from the storylines to making sure that everything works perfectly. Uh, are you ever tense before a big match and knowing that you don't need to get everything all right? Uh, yeah, for sure. I always, I, I'm very nervous before every match and I do always kind of wrestle every match as if it's my last because things can happen so fast and you can get injured so quick within the blink of an eye. But uh, shows like WrestleMania, I'm just hoping uh, that the things do get back to, uh, you know, normal, whatever that is, because man, that's just like what you, you work <laughs> all year, all year for. That's, that's the, the biggest goal in a pro wrestler's life is to like be a part of WrestleMania. And, uh, and I pray that there's going to be more moments like that uh, for me before I'm done. But, yeah, the nerves are the best, man. When, it must be good if it gives you goosebumps. And it's always good to have the butterflies before you go out there and perform for the universe, the WWE universe. You've had a lot of uh, interesting rivalries over the years. Uh, you know, they're just always one or two. Uh, you, you've wrestled The Undertaker. You've had John Cena, of course, CM Punk. I mean, legendary rivalries. But always one or two more that, you know, you, you gear up a little bit more for and that you're hoping that, you know, you want to, like, come out on top more with that. Is there one that you want to take out and say over the years, this one's always had me on edge? Yeah, the, well, the big, the, there's two right now, especially that whatever, uh, what happened uh, last week after SmackDown, you know, Roman Reigns coming back. That's a huge, like, kind of dream of mine. But uh, I think uh, I'm most excited about doing something, being involved with the theme, Bray Wyatt. I think there's something real special that, that can happen between us uh, moving forward. So that's a feud I'm really looking forward to. 2008, you know, um, Armageddon. Let's talk about that. Uh, you win the WWE Championship and you get become the big champion. Everyone wanted to see Jeff Hardy become the big champion. You become the big champion. Uh, just the moment when you're out there and you won and everyone had invested time in you and now is awesome. So uh, what do you have to say about that? You know, take you back the years, but... That would be awesome just, you know, to rewind the, the clock a bit. Yeah, again, a, a dream come true. A Triple H yeah. and Edge, a, 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 a triple yeah. threat match for the world championship. And, and to win that with the Swanton Bomb and the fans went crazy. I mean, I just, you know, it was a very surreal moment. You know, that again, it was a childhood dream that, that came, tr uh, came true. And I, I just felt like I was kind of meant to, born to do what I do, you know. And that was kind of, it uh, edged that in stone, you know, for me. Do you ever have regrets in a professional career that has gone on for so many years? Do you sometimes say, oh, maybe I should have done it like this and maybe should, should have done it like that? Even though the career is still going on, do you sometimes say, I need to like redo a few things here and there? Yeah, no, not at all. I, I've been like living uh, day to day with, with the uh, mentality of uh, no regrets and no predictions. Uh, you know, so I'm just yeah. lucky to have today. And, and I look forward to uh, my next performance. And, and, you know, I don't get excited about too many things until it actually gets here uh, with the, the state of the world. So, uh, but yeah, man, I, no regrets and no predictions. Yeah, 2020 sort of put that to rest, right? No predictions at all. We can't really predict exactly. too much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, none. I want this done before I get into the Hall of Fame. You know, like, I'm going to, you're going to be there for sure. But you want to, like, take off a few boxes before you go in there. Is there something left that you want to do before you're in? inducted into the Hall of Fame? Uh, yeah, for sure, especially recently after winning the Intercontinental Championship for the fifth time. I'd like to be the world champion again or the universal champion again. Uh, I think, yeah. you know, I'm pretty sure this is my last run and I want to make it a long, good run. And those yeah. are two things I definitely want to achieve before, I'm, before it's over. Are you able to have good off-screen uh, friendships, you know, when you're, you're, you're on the road? all the time you know uh, I've seen how dedicated y'all are there's no real time to actually do anything but ops uh, you know off like the entire arena you have three good friends or two good friends you know in the locker room big buddies uh, not not really too many people from work I mean we there's a few like close friends but more than anything yeah. my, my Carolina guitar player uh, 
playing music and just like being a dad while I'm home. That's the two main things because also my Carolina guitar player, we do a lot of, on my property at home, there's a lot of work to do, like cutting grass and cutting trees, keeping the motocross <laughs> track looking good. I mean, there's yeah. a lot of maintenance. So he helps me with that. And then we jam on the weekends when I'm home. And uh, I mean, it's just, yeah, that, that's great to, I still have that, this passion for artsy stuff, even painting, drawing, you know, music, writing. I, I love it all, man. So being in that wrestling ring when I paint my face, it's kind of like I become the painting, you know, I am the artwork. And uh, so, yeah, I'm just, again, blessed to still enjoy the things like that that I did when I was in high school and, and all that good stuff, man. I, I just love life and I can't get enough of it. You and your brother were legendary. You know, the charisma that you all have is just unreal. Do you sometimes look at the roster right now and say, okay, I see us in them. You, you like, have you pinpointed a few of the superstars in the current world that you say, yeah, you know, what, like us? Uh, definitely, I think with uh, Mustafa Ali, I see a lot of, like, me and him, like, just the things uh, that he does yes. is incredible. And uh, so, yeah, and I, we actually, like, uh, had worked together, like, teamed together on a live event at some point. We, we were, <laughs> and I said, my face was all painted, and I said something about just pro wrestling being such a crazy – um, occupation and and he reminded me of what I told him out there in the moment and uh, but yeah he, he reminds me a lot of myself back in those younger days you know but he's a dad as well and just seeing the, how healthy and athletic he is I mean it's just a beautiful thing but it's really been a pleasure to have you uh, with us on radio uh, you know visual and audio is awesome but uh, thank you so much for doing this with us and like I said you are a future Hall of Famer so we're gonna see you very soon once again may you hold that belt on for very long and may you get another shot and become WWE champion once again. Thank you so much for being with us. Amen, brother. Thank you. Yeah, just before we leave one sec. Have you learned any Hindi? Do you wanna, can you say a line in Hindi? Have you learned any Hindi line at all, which you probably repeated in every interview that you've had from India till now? Uh, do you want me to say something? Have you, have you learned any line at all? No. no. Namaste, India. Nam Namaste, India. Namaste, India. Namaste, India. Namaste, India. Namaste, India. Yeah, that's the most cliched line, but that's the one that works. India, okay. that's perfect. Okay. India. That just says, that says, yeah, hello, India. That just says, hello, India. All right, perfect. Okay. Right on, Thank man. you so Thank much, you, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Radio City.